everyone! So for today's video, I am going to be making bubble scoops. Uh, welcome to my channel. I am Leanne and I am the owner and creator of Bubbly Suds. I will not be able to share the recipe that I'm using today because it is not mine and I don't have permission to share it. But I will uh, bring you along as I go through the steps. Um, I'm going to get the ingredients ready and I will be right back. Okay, so I just wanted to give you a little bit of an update as to what I am doing. Um, and because of the, I am working with um, the sodium laurel sulfate, I am wearing my mask. So let me show you. I've got my dry ingredients inside of there and until it's mixed well with the uh, the wet ingredients I will keep my mask on so I'm gonna go and get my wet ingredients and I will be right back all right so I am back and I've got my wet ingredients I'm just going to scoop it let me move this over here Scoop this into my bowl, my mixer bowl. Ooh, I got uh, the ingredient, I mean the um, fragrance that I'm using for this batch is uh, bubble gum. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. I think the kids are going to love this. All right. All right. So I'm going to get my colorant. Uh, I think I'm going to go with pink on this one. I'll be right back. All right. So I'm just going to show you. I've got everything in here. I went with uh, this pink is called Berry. So let's see. And I've got this here and on here. So all right. So we are going to at first we're going to mix it on low. So we're going to leave that for a few minutes and then we're going to come back to it. Okay, I want to show you how it's uh, looking. It's looking kind of like uh, a foam, kind of sticky. Alright, a few more minutes. This part is, uh, actually I can take this off. This part is really loud. I now have it, I mixed it, once it was mixed, I now have it turned on high for like three to five minutes. It's loud. But it's looking to, oh, it, my whole house is smell, it's smelling like bubble gum right now. <laughs> okay, so I have shut it off and I just wanna show you what it looks like in there. So now I'm going to leave it for a few minutes. Um, it should kind of expand a bit. So let's, let's, let's leave this and we will come back to it in, um, in a few minutes. Like, yeah. All right, so I have left it for a couple of minutes and it actually, it's looking pretty good. It's kind of it's kind of sticky. If you can see, it's kind of sticky, but not too too sticky. I'm just wondering. Hmm. 
let, I am going to attempt to put it in the mold. And what I am using, actually what I'm going to try is about two different sizes of uh, the ice cream scoops. And uh, I'm going to see which one fits better. So just let me get this situated so you can watch what I'm doing. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll it in a ball. I'm going, actually going to use the smaller. I've decided I'm going to use the smaller scoop. And that will should give me just one, like use for just one bath. Now, okay. I don't want, okay, so it's on there. Oh, look at that. Look how cute that looks. All right. So, let's see. And actually, some has actually stayed inside. And what I'm doing is I'm weighing out 50 grams. And they fit nicely in the, uh, the small... Now, I just want to let you know, what, I, I, what I've done is this batch is going to be for the kids. So, in here there is no shea butter and no coconut butter. Because if I put that in, the, in here, it will make... It'll make the tub too slippery for kids, and we all know that the kids already slip and slide way too much. So, we're going to leave it without it. So I'm just going to put these over here and then what's going to happen is we're going to leave these to dry. It's going to take about two to three days to dry and then what the texture will be like will be like, like a chalk and then when you're going to use it you can just kind of crumble it in your hand and hold it underneath the, uh, the tap. Now what I want to try, I'm going to test it. I mean, it's not dry, so I don't know how well it will bubble. So I want to see how Be right back okay guys I want to show this to you I wasn't sure how well this was gonna make the bubbles but this is just for me just rinsing my, my hands look at the bubbles in there now I'm gonna turn this on now you know the size I'm gonna show you here so the size of these compared to just this little piece so let's see how many bubbles we get just from these little this little piece. Look at that. Just from that. Wow. These are amazing. Amazing. All right. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If this is something that you are interested in, 
uh, hit that subscribe button. I will be back. Uh, I've got recipes. I have been researching, researching so many different recipes for so many different things. So I will see you again. So I actually wanted to come back on and show you how many the 500 gram uh, recipe made. So that's not bad. I have got, what have I got here? 10 and then, no, do I got 10? Three, three, yep, 10. And then just this tiny little one for the kids to play with. <laughs> Um, one other thing, uh, so I'm going to leave these for two to three days. Um, once I get about halfway through, I'm actually going to flip them, like I will take them and flip them on their side, but I need them to harden. Once they start to harden, then I can flip them on their side, that way the bottoms can dry. All right. I will see you guys later.